All right, we are live. This is the Celtics Live post game presented by Guy Boston Sports. I'm Evan Singleton, and uh, you know the Celtics had what their top, maybe top three out of I guess depends if you consider Al Horford how high he is up there. But Celtics, three of their primary players, primary players gone, not playing tonight, not healthy. Horford with a knee, I believe. Gordon Hayward's out also. Kyrie with the shoulder. Aaron Baines with the ankle, and everybody, everybody was chirping on Twitter saying that, wow, and Anthony Davis is playing. This is going to be an easy dub for the for the, um, for the the Pelicans. How'd that turn out? Because uh, as far as I could tell, that wasn't the easiest dub, was it? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that was not an easy dub for the Pelicans. It uh, looks like looks like they are going to go home after a 13-point defeat without Kyrie Irving, without uh, Aaron Baines, who would be a a uh, crucial piece, one would think, to stopping Anthony Davis um, without Gordon Hayward and without Al Horford, without Gerson Yabasele, too. I know Kenny, my guy Kenny Doyle, will love will love, uh, will love, love that I'm saying he was a big piece of that. But uh, you know what? No, None of those guys, no problem. This team just extended their win streak, and uh, they, they didn't score as many points as they've been scoring. They did not. Uh, yeah, Tommy, that was a really good win. Very good win there. That was not... Um, I would. That was not the the 126 points that they had been averaging, unfortunately, right? But guess what? They took a guy. They took guys like uh, <laughs> Brad Wanamaker coming out of here, um, and uh, you know, um, Semi Ojale, even PJ Dozier got a run in there. It's like they they got the they took these guys and you like I tweeted out. I like seeing when these guys play, right? Because I like to see. Oh, what can these guys do? Blah blah blah. Uh, usually you see these guys play at the end of games when they're playing against other, obviously playing against other scrubs. And you never really know how good these guys are. Like Dozier came in last night against the Bulls. I think the Bulls, they might be going for like a G League contract next year. They might want to. Um, but anyways, you know, seeing uh, Brad Wanamaker come in and play well, it's like, yeah, what are you going to do? But then you see him come in and not saying that he had like a tremendous game tonight. I'm not saying that. But uh, being able to being able to come in and actually hang with some of these some of these uh, legitimate players and, and, and actual NBA players is awesome to see. Like they were playing up, they were playing against a future MVP winner in Anthony Davis. Um, and I still think the Pelicans are a good team. The, the Celtics clearly have their number as of late. But um, yeah, that that was awesome to see. And I love I love that the Twitter trolls were on the prowl tonight, uh, or on the prowl this this morning, saying, "Oh, they're gonna win, they're gonna win." We have Anthony Davis. All you guys have is Tatum. Yeah. All we had is Tatum and and Marcus Morris, who went with 31 points. And uh, then we have Robert Williams, a guy that was, I hate to say kryptonite of Anthony Davis, because I think Anthony Davis still scored like 41 plus points, right? But uh, hey, what are you going to do? Robert Williams came in and played really well. It's uh, it's uh, it's awesome. But uh, yeah, what are you guys saying? Keep Heath says keep Rob out of the G League. Yes. Um, Title City Boston. Having Rob in the G League is good because you want him getting better and playing time. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's totally fair. Um, it's I mean, if he's not going to play at all, which I think he might start getting minutes by the end of the year, he is the most athletic guy on the team, um, in my opinion. So but yeah, if, I mean, I'd. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily just say don't send him to the G League. After that game, don't send him to the G League. But uh, if he's not going to play that much, might as well. But um, but that was awesome seeing seeing Marcus Morris say that he's going to go for thirty. I think he said he's going to go for thirty. Or no, he said he's going to go for forty. Either at thirty or thirty one. Um, but really good for him. Like that's what I'm looking for. A guy like that. When Kyrie Irving's out, when your primary scorer's out, you're like, all right, who the hell's going to score for us? Who's going to score for us? I don't know, maybe Jason Tatum, maybe Marcus Morris. It's like this team actually can ball. They they do have heart. Um they do have heart. That uh that was Tommy saying that. It's it's this is a team that grinds. You know, Jalen Brown was super aggressive in that game, at least in the, the earlier part of it. And that's like I couldn't ask for Jalen Brown to do more than that. Out of all the Jalen Brown hate I've I've given him Rightfully so too. Rightfully so. He's earned it. I haven't I haven't been, you know, biased or negatively biased towards him. This is the type of game in these past two games as well, but this is the type of game that he's like, all right, screw it. One dribble to the hoop, get fouled, um, do your thing. He had nineteen tonight. Um he was six of sixteen, but he also took seven threes. Like that's sixteen shots is way too much for me from him, but this game has to be an anom- an anomaly because you know, your guys aren't in there. Kyrie's not playing. Al Horford's not playing. Gordon Hayward's not playing. Aaron Bain, you know what I mean? This is like, 
let's roll out let's roll out a uh, uh, a team that's all banged up and bruised in theory and keep winning like they did it they did it and again to the to the twitter trolls out there um saying oh we have anthony davis he's playing tonight you all you guys have is tatum the, get ready to catch this l blah 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 like legitimate trash talk or i mean i was just reading it i wasn't partaking in it and uh, it's just like yeah no this is the type of celtics team from last year that we all loved is it not is it not? This is the type of team that we all got amped for last year. Why? Because they, they no matter who they have, it's like an Eastern Conference Finals banged up team. No matter who they have, they're not giving up. Marcus Morris, 10 of 15 from the field, 4 and 4 too. Um, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. It was, what what more could you ask for for a team that was so beaten up, so bo- bruised, and so thin just to come out here and beat a team that, that has a guy like Anthony Davis I can't say that enough you know and I said that it was I said that my my uh, key to the game was stopping Julius Randle they didn't really stop him um but they didn't make it only 20 points from him I mean that's a lot but all they the only thing that the Pelicans could do was give the ball to Anthony Davis and score hey if Anthony Davis is gonna beat you Anthony Davis is gonna beat you let one guy beat you let one guy beat you. It's like a football mentality or something. Let let that one receiver kill you, but make sure they have no second option. The Patriots are great at that. Um, Tommy, am I worried about the long-term health of this team? Yes, always am. Always have been with Kyrie Irving. He just does that. He gets beaten up. He gets bruised throughout the season. Always a concern. That's why I want Terry Rozier to stay on this team so that we can have that backup point guard that is pretty pretty legitimate starter. Um, he. Th- the aggressiveness on the offensive side is key. Yes. So since the Celtics win streak has started, they have been going to the rack. They're making their threes too. That's that goes without saying. They are making their threes. It's not like they're just deciding, okay, I'm never gonna shoot. Um, no, they're shooting, but they are absolutely going to the rim. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, they're trying to get to the hoop. Kyrie Irving a little bit more too, and that's what I love to see. I like I like the ball inside, allowing yourself to open up the three. You don't need to just jack three. No one's Steph Curry on this team. He can just go down the court and shoot. Other, uh, most people, 90% of basketball players have to start getting their game going to open up the three. Um, real, this is from Guy Boston Live. Real Celtics need to play like this team did tonight. So much energy. Yeah. So I assume, I assume that, uh, Kenny, you're saying, Kenny runs our Guy Boston Sports Live account, Guy Boston Live on Twitter. So me means that this was a team that played with energy and grit and heart and everything like that, but it's a... A fragment of what this team actually is. You know what I mean? We get back, we get back four potential starters of this team, um, and we need to make sure that they follow in those footsteps. Which sounds weird. It sounds weird. Like the good players need to follow in the footsteps of um, of Brad Wanamaker and Robert Williams. But um, but uh, yeah, we we Tommy, we did play good defense, and it was defense fueled by that by that. Um, that energy, you know, like Jalen Brown was coming up with steals. Um, I think Robert Williams had a couple steals actually. And it was just, it's like, that's the type of basketball we like to see. That is Celtics basketball. The Celtics are never going to be the Showtime Lakers. You know, they're going to be, they're going to be the 86 Celtics where they're just out grinding and out teaming every player, uh, every team, I mean, and player. So that was just amazing. That's what a win. You know what I mean? Like, that's an impressive win. You don't have what you need. You don't have what you want. Kyrie's sitting on the bench. Um, Al Horford's out. Uh, Gordon Hayward's out. And you have Aaron Baines out against a team that has a stud Hall of Fame big man, Anthony Davis. And what happens? Robert Williams comes in and blocks him two or three times. Um, he <laughs> can't say that we stopped Anthony Davis. No one's trying to say that. He had 41 points tonight, but he shot a shit ton. I mean, 34 shots from him. Um, but, you know, other than that, it was like nobody did anything. Julius Randle, I like Julius Randle on this this New Orleans team. I said shut him down at halftime. They only, he only scored nine points in the second half. He still finished with 20 and 11. That's a little, That's I mean, he did his thing. We didn't shut down Julius Randle, but apparently we didn't necessarily need to. The, the team was... 113 points from this the team that we had that's wild to me I mean Marcus Morris with 31 I think that's a season high for him Jason Tatum with 21 that's what we like to see and uh Terry Rozier with 10 Semi Ojale with 11 he looked good I said at halftime he was having a sneaky good game he only had four points then only had four points then and what do you know Lo and behold, he finishes pretty well. Jalen with 19. Uh, it wasn't a good 19 in my opinion. He had some rough stretches. The first 
maybe first quarter of him playing of his minutes. So the first probably like seven minutes or so, I liked the way he was playing. He was going to the rim and everything like that. But I will say I got kind of cold on him, to be honest, once he started to uh, shoot threes. You know, still 16 shots is too much for, for him for me. But this game, again, an anomaly because we don't know how he would have played with all the other players playing. But uh, Robert Williams the time lord seven points 11 rebounds four offensive rebounds a couple of those are on his own misses but a plus 13 plus minus from him with three blocks we can't ask for much more from that guy he's going to be a good player someday mark my words mark a lot of people's words he's going to be a uh, a a good player someday um so it's it's uh it's it's something to look forward to it's definitely it's definitely we're, we're a positive right in here so it's a, uh, it's positives all around. So we'll catch you guys for the next game. Celtics will take on. Let's see if I can pull up. I can't. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Celtics will take on. Let's see schedule. Now sixteen and ten. They are taking on. Du, 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 du. Internet issues. All right. <clears throat> Next game is against... Where do we got this? Is against Washington on Wednesday, I believe. And that's going to be at 7 o'clock. We're in Washington then. But let's extend this win streak. Let's keep it going. Right now, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 games. New Orleans twice. Um, and, uh, you know, let's keep it going. Robert Williams, big story tonight. Marcus Moore saying he's going to go for 40. Went for 31. And Jason Tatum also doing his thing out there, being able to uh, take the offensive role when when carries out. So overall positive win for the Celtics. Screw you, Twitter troll, saying that the, uh, the Pelicans were going to stomp the seas tonight. You were wrong.